The Life and Times of Thomas Garrett A single individual stands passively under the strokes of evil awaiting rescue by the grace of God. Wouldn't it be terrible to have to live a life like that? Well, this man is Thomas Garrett, and he rescued a lot of slaves from a lifetime of slavery. Oh. Thomas Garrett's motivation to help slaves is when he was 18 and his sister was kidnapped by slave traders, and he soon rescued his sister. This opened his eyes to the cruelty of slavery, and he became an underground railroad conductor. Thomas Garrett helped slaves by disguising them with clothing, hats, and hardware merchandise. He also fed them and was the last stop on one of the pathways of the Underground Railroad. He was like an older version of Oprah. In the picture is the house he used to live in. As a hardware merchant, he used his goods to disguise slaves as free Negroes. For example, he used his dresses from his wife to disguise the girls. He also used some of his clothes to disguise the girls as men as seen in the picture. Thomas's big heart fought through the fact that he had a want to note out on him for $10,000, and yet he still helped slaves. Eventually, a town judge fined him $8,000 for helping slaves escape. Even though he had no money left, he still said the following to the judge. Friend, I haven't a dollar in the world, but if you know a slave who needs breakfast, send him to me. To give you an idea of just how important Thomas Garrett was to the Negroes of Wilmington, Delaware, here's a quote from Anna L. Curtis. Unknown to the Garretts, the Wilmington Negroes kept a constant watch on their home, ready to call the police at a moment's notice if there should be any trouble. Here's another quote from Anna L. Curtis. Another time, two men came to Wilmington proposedly to kill him and then st thus stop his assistant to run away slaves. Garrett had been warned of their coming. Meeting them at the door, he said, You men look hungry. Come in and have some supper. Shamefaced and embarrassed, they accepted the invitation, and Thomas Garrett once again escaped harm. After the meal, one of the men thanked him and went away. The other stayed and worked for him for years. Throughout his whole life, Thomas Garrett worked long and hard to help free slaves. Here's another quote from Anna L. Curtis. In 1863, when all slaves were declared free by the government, the Wilmington Negroes made a great procession of rejoicing for their people. They begged Thomas Garrett to take part, and he gladly consult consented. Great was his surprise, however, when the horses were removed from the open carriage in which he was riding, and he found himself drawn by a dozen men at the head of the procession. Before him there marched another man carrying a banner on which was written, Our Moses. In the end, Thomas Garrett said, the government has taken over my business. Now I can retire. Then he added wistfully, I have helped only 2,700 slaves to freedom. I had hoped to save 3,000.